Hey everybody, it's Blu-ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today we are going to talk about a mark that is on your Fuji camera. It might be on any camera that you own, in fact. I don't know. I only have Fuji cameras, so I can't compare it. But Fuji cameras have this little mark on them, and I noticed it the other day, and I started thinking about it because I thought there's nothing that you put on a camera that isn't there for a reason. They don't just randomly throw hieroglyphics onto a camera. So what is this little mark for? And here's the mark I'm talking about. If you look at my Fuji X100V, you see that little mark right there? That little circle with a line through it? Yeah, so it's very obvious when you look at the Fuji. You can see it right there when you look at the 100V. But then even if you pick up something bigger like my X-H2, it's on the side right here. See that? There it is right there. So what is that mark? And why is it there? Well, I'm going to tell you. That is called a film plane indicator. And it's a holdover from the days when we shot with film. And it's to show you exactly where the film is inside the camera. Of course, now we don't shoot with film anymore. We shoot with sensors. So what it's telling you is this is exactly where the sensor is inside the camera. Now, why do you need to know where the sensor is inside the camera or the film? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, uh, let's say you're a macro photographer, which means you take pictures of things and you have to get the camera as close as possible as you can to the thing you're taking a picture of. Well, the camera's going to have a minimum focusing distance. So you know, if you look at the literature that comes with the camera, you know that this lens, if you are focused as shallow, you know, as close as possible, it will tell you exactly how far that is. They'll say like that's, you know, 60 inches or whatever. So if you know exactly where it is, you can get to exactly 60 inches. You can get the camera as close as possible exactly at that point for macro photography. But probably where it was most commonly used was in film for what they call a focus puller. Uh, if you don't know much about film and how film works, and it still works this way to this day, uh, somebody operating a camera on a film set, there's usually two or three people that are involved with the operation of that camera. Could be more because you're going to have grips, you're going to have people who are moving the camera, you're going to have the person who's pointing the camera, you're going to have a person who's zooming the camera. Uh, and the person who's zooming the camera or zooming the camera lens is called the focus puller and their job is to determine how far it is from the person you're shooting to the camera and to set the camera to that distance so that that person is in focus and as the camera moves they have to change the zoom it's crazy how technical it is so they have to change so as you're zooming around they have to change the focus as you're moving the camera they have to change the focus perfectly in sync with the way the camera moves so that so that everything stays in focus and I actually did a video about this on um, Blu-ray Explains my my series on explaining everything about photography I did a video about what they call the Hitchcock zoom uh, which uses focus pulling so anyway when you're doing this if you're pulling focus you have to know exactly how far it is from the actor to the film plane or in this case the sensor plane because you want the actor to hit their mark their mark is really a mark on the floor, and the actor comes and stands on that mark. And the reason they have to stand on that mark is because you have preset the camera, so it is focused to exactly that point. And so they have to stand on exactly that point. And the way that you focus that camera is you take a long tape measure, and you run it from that mark to the camera. But, you know, what if you've got a lens on the camera like this? Do you run it to the front of the lens or the back of the lens? Where do you do it? Well, you run it to the actual film plane. Where is the film? So having that mark on the camera enables you to tell exactly how far the mark is from the film plane so that you can set the focus to precisely where you need it to be. And that is what that little bitty dot on your camera is all about. All right, we learned something cool today. Thanks for watching.